Hello there, this is Lost File, and I'm going to do a little review on the Beaker Browser. The Beaker Browser is a experimental, decentral, um, web browser that is in very heavy development, but it's been around for a while, so... Uh, it uses the, um, DAT protocol. So, DAT is basically sort of like IPFS, which... I've actually enabled IPFS uh, support, or actually, what I really did was I compi I compiled the um, the uh, IPFS plugin for it. So it's really just a plugin. So um, yeah. so basically, when you want to uh, to start the Beaker browser, what you got to do is you got to do this. And then, you gotta go to the Beaker Browser, and then you type in npm start, because it's an npm, or an npm uh, project, so you'd have to do this every time you want to run it. You can't just run it, because there's no, like, direct executable you can run, because that's just how projects built with npm, as far as I know work. So you go do that, and that will run the Beaker Browser. And so you could either use the DAT protocol, which is, um, it is, uh, decentral, and it's, um, you can run a website all decentral with this. And, uh, this talks about the, uh, DAT protocol a little more. That is, if it um, wants to work with me. So, what you do is you type in fs and then the hash of your site. So, this site right here. I'm trying to find the IPNS. Oh, wait, there's the IPNS for it. Is that the right IPNS? Uh, that might not be it. Because I think that hash... I remember the hash being a little different. Yeah, I remember the hash being slightly different. So... There it is. Oh, I have to manually type it? Or I'll just paste it. I think it's still on my clipboard. Nope, that ain't on my clipboard anymore. There it is. So, I had to double click it. Alright, so this is an older version of my site. I lost the IPNS address. I'll, um, actually, I'll give you, I'll actually, once I find it, I'll post a, um, description, the link in the description of the, uh, video of my, um, site in the updated version of it, and including the IPNS, uh, link instead of the IPF link, because to explain it is, there's no dynamic uh, updates. So if you were to update your website, you would have to create a sort of a domain name for it. So every time I update and publish my website, I have to point the new hash that it generates every time I upload it to the IPNS to explain it as best as I can. This is basically a dated version of my site and you can just go to it by typing fs and then hash trailing hash on it and it's a really you know cool neat little browser um, you can bookmark things it's based off of Google Chrome I think 
And you can also browse the normal web with it. You can go to DuckDuckGo.com and just, you know, search what your heart's content if you want to. So... You can look up Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life, and then you can just... And DuckDuckGo will do that, so you can browse the overnet as well as this. But I need to f mention one more thing I forgot to mention. In order to use IPFS with this, not also do you need to install the plugin on this web browser, but you also need to have an IPFS node running in the background. So, yeah, that ends my video for today, and...